everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review of the hotly anticipated new Ariana Grande Cloud Pink that I have here. So I'm gonna be letting you know what this smells like, first impressions and how it compares to the other clouds. If you are new here, then hello and welcome. We're all about perfumes. I do have detailed videos on the other Ariana Grande perfumes as well as my article that goes through every single Ariana Grande perfume release. There's been quite a lot now. And so I'll leave those linked down below along with where you can get this. Um, it is exclusive to certain shops, I think, at the moment. So I'll leave all those links down below for where you can get this all around the world. And if you're a regular viewer, do make sure you're subscribed and give the video a thumbs up. That really helps me. Cool. So the Ariana Grande fragrances have been such an amazing success. I think I read that the brand, like the, the company Ariana Grande fragrances is worth $100 million. Sometimes you get these celebrity fragrance brands that are just so successful. I believe the Elizabeth Taylor Taylor brand is the most successful ever. The Britney one must be up there. And the Ariana Grande one is definitely super successful. Her cloud is like a top 10 bestseller, even though it's been years since it was released. So I was super excited to try this. So in terms of cloud, if you haven't smelt it, the original cloud is a sweet whipped cream praline fragrance. It's quite similar to Maison Francis Coque de Jam Baccarat Rouge 540, the fragrance with the longest name ever. It's definitely similar to that. It has great projection. When someone's wearing this, you can smell it on them. It's it's a good perfume. It's quite sexy, I think, with it being so sweet. It has a bit of coconut in there with the whipped cream as well. It is a great perfume. It's iconic. And of course, it's bottle so unique with this cloud lid. And the gift sets are really cute. There'll be new ones out now for Christmas probably. So I'll see if I can find them and link them as well. It's a great perfume. If you love sweet perfumes, this is great value perfume. After this, um, we had a limited edition called Cloud Intense, uh, Cloud 2.0, which came in a dark blue cloud, darker bottle. Now this one was very similar to the original. It had a little bit more of a cashmere tone. It was a little bit more musky, a bit more subtle, but it was fundamentally like almost the same. I think that was limited and has been discontinued. I'm not quite sure. I think it might still be available in the US, but that sort of came and kind of went. And now we have cloud pink which I think is a permanent edition I don't think it's limited edition so this is what it looks like this is the 100 mil size it's really quite big and again the bottle comes out so this is almost like a stand for it so when I first sprayed this literally when it arrived I like immediately got it out the package and sprayed it straight away so my first impressions I was like oh it's cloud like immediately get that signature cloud sweet whipped cream coconutty scent and it's so strong you guys honestly you can really smell it but what happens then is some other notes start to be revealed so this one has some fruit notes in that aren't in the original cloud or intense version. So there's a dragon fruit note, pineapple and wild berries. And I really do get them coming through. While that, that signature sweet cloud scent remains though, that's there in the beginning, middle and end, doesn't change. But this one has a slightly fruity, slightly tart feeling to it. It doesn't feel like tropical, it feels like just fruity. Think along the lines of Britney Spears' Midnight Fantasy to see that kind of sweet berry fruitiness. In fact, it is quite similar to that. It says that it uses coconut water rather than coconut. I mean, yeah, I kind of can see that, but those fruity berry notes are kind of the main new note that I get. And it also uses vanilla orchid, which I get a little bit. Vanilla orchid is sweet floral. It really is like a vanilla-y floral orchid scent. Um, so that va that vanilliness blends really well with that praline base, that musky signature cloud base, and it adds like a hint, like maybe 10% I get that orchid note. I think like 50% is original cloud praline sweet scent. 30 to 40% is those berries and the pineapple and, and the dragon fruit and then the rest is everything else. So for sure, if you like Cloud, you'll like this because it's so similar. If you like her more fruity fragrances that she's had, like the pink 
mod. I think you'll like this. It's kind of like a mixture. In fact, it's like a mixture of the two mods, the white one and the pink one, combine them together. Fruitiness, but with that signature cloud as well. Because it's pink and everything, I think, I feel like people were expecting something totally different to cloud but to be fair like it's in the cloud packaging it's called cloud so it makes sense that it has so much similarity to cloud and it's like a version of cloud i think the pink is you know super cute this is the 100 mil size i can show you the sizes this is the 50 mil this is the 30 mil size and the packaging is like all her perfumes is massive this is the 100 mil box so we have a picture of ariana pink cloud um, it's all shiny and pink it's massive even the box for the 30 mil is like pretty big so if you're looking for like gifting you know you could get the 30 mil and that's like a decent size that's like the size of some 100 mil packages so for gifting purposes they look they're quite big and nice and you feel like you're getting something for your money so these are definitely cheaper than designer perfumes and um, the 100 ml is 53 the 50 ml is like about 43 and the 30 ml is 33 so they're very accessible affordable fragrances personally in terms of my preferences I personally prefer original cloud to this one because even though I do love berries I think this in here the berry note the sweetness is a little bit too young for me it's a little bit immature slightly sour whereas I think cloud is a little bit more elegant like you can tell people you're wearing Baccarat Rouge and that you paid 250 pounds for it I think this is still my favorite this is still the best the OG is the best but I think this is okay so it is Soki approved because of the lasting power. Like I, when I spray this, I, I keep smelling it on me all the time. My um, partner commented um, that he could smell something and he was in the other room. So you really can smell it. But he also said he found it a little bit sickly. But having said that, he doesn't like original cloud either. So maybe it's just him because I know a lot of men do love cloud on women. So for sure, I think this will be uh, so successful for her, for the brand. Like obviously Christmas coming up, everyone will want to come Complete their cloud collection. I don't know if they're gonna be cloud pink gift set, um, but that would be super cute. So yeah, overall impressions are, for the price, it's good quality, so it's Soki approved. Let me know if you've tried it yet, what do you think of it, which do you prefer out of the three different clouds or from her whole fragrance range. Do let me know, like I said, I do have an article that details the difference between all of her different perfumes, so I'll leave that link below, along with where you can get um, cloud pink but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments I do read all your comments uh, but that's it guys so thanks so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next video bye